Good evening, guys. Engineer Pat 5290 coming to you with the February Q&A responses. Uh, a lot of good responses have come in. Um, I apologize for this video being a little bit late. I had some uh, some things come up with work and also a couple things with family, so I'm actually able to catch up on this stuff. And I'm looked through your questions, and they're really good, and I'm very pleased with it. So uh, we're going to jump right into it with Droopy Diesel and Trayman 1993. Great to see you, gentlemen. For Droopy Diesel, he has favorite truck model and Mexican food. Uh, I have several different truck models that I really like. Kenworth W900 being my top favorite. Peterbilt 389, Peterbilt 379, and Freightliner Classic XL are my top four. Favorite Mexican food, tacos and beans and rice. And I love the chips and dip they give you at chips and salsa at the Mexican restaurants. It's really good stuff. Uh, Trayman 1993 comes in. Good to see you, Matt. Uh, NW2 or the 1500. I like both, but the NW2 is one that's not awfully talked about much. Uh, the 1500 is still talked about some, and there's still some of those out there. You just got to find them. Uh, Butterfinger or the Nestle Crunch? Got to go with the Nestle Crunch. I've always been addicted to those since I was a kid. Now, my dad's addicted to Butterfingers. My dad loves Butterfingers. Um, favorite thing about lining up post-war trains? Just the unique models and paint schemes and the accessories they were all able to bring out during that time. Uh, the Redding or the Chesapeake in Ohio? Definitely the Redding because I'm more familiar with it. And I prefer the SD90 Mac over the ES44AC because the 90 Mac is the EMD. So thank you, sir, for your question. Thank you, gentlemen, for your questions. Excuse me. Um, Redding Rails comes in. Good to see you again, man. It's been a hot minute. Um, if you could visit for a any country for a month, where would you go and why? I would not mind staying in Canada. Um, I've learned a lot about Canada over time, especially with uh, their scenery like Nova Scotia, um, Montreal, Saskatchewan. They've always got beautiful scenery out there. And I love the Canadian railroads like Canadian National. And I would really love to see the freight, the freight trains go through Canada. That's one of my that's one of my favorite things about Canada is the, you know, their sense of rail network that's out there. What do you like to eat with your steak? This is a good question. For me, mashed potatoes, mixed vegetables, and ice cold sweet tea or glass water. Now, if it was at a steakhouse like Longhorn Steakhouse, steak, mashed potatoes, steamed broccoli, the pumpernickel bread, and of course ice cold glass of water, and you're in business. Top three favorite truck models, as mentioned previously, um, Kenworth W900, Peterbilt 389, 379, and the Freightliner Classic XL. Do you like the 80s or the 90s music? I like both. Now, if you could talk to any celebrity or artist for one hour, who would you chat with? Well, there's some names that come to mind, but one of my very favorite country artists I would love to speak with, Reva McIntyre. She's been in the country music business for a long time and also did her own show, Reba, in the early 2000s. And I would love to talk with Reba. Reba's still kicking it some and singing. And um, I wouldn't mind interviewing with Dolly Parton because I think she and Dolly, I think, are good friends. And they both produce very good music. Um, thoughts on repaying the CSX F40s to the B&O scheme? That was a good move. That scheme is very stunning on those locomotives and it looks great with the passenger cars. Harper's Ferry or Berea, Ohio. Harper's Ferry just because I've been there. Now, between VMT and NCTM, I love NCTM with all my heart. That's one of my very favorite museums. Now, favorite 40th and 50th anniversary units of Amtrak. The favorite 50th? Gotta be the 100. The Midnight Blue, because that one's the most unique. Uh, the favorite 40th anniversary? I'm split between the 184 and... And the and the 130. Now, do you enjoy watching Steve Harvey? And what's your favorite moment on any on any of Harvey's work? I have watched the Steve Harvey show. It's been a number of years back, but I just like his personality in there, where you're seeing him in an education background, where he's teaching students music and also seeing drama that happens in a high school class. And I think it was really cool. And when he did Family Feud. He kind of put in his acting 
his acting in there with his game show hosting, which I thought was pretty cool. Very talented actor, guys. So, um, so thank you, sir, for your questions. And who's next up here? Take you, Zane. What's going on, man? Uh, great to see you up here. Things are going great. Um, weather like for me? Cold. Um, have you been on a cruise? No, but I hear they're nice and you get all the comforts of home. Um, have you been to the Smithsonian? Yes, and my favorite part, the American History Museum, especially the transportation section. I could be in there all day long and I could not leave. The Smithsonian is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, least favorite board game? I never understood Chinese checkers. I never understood the concept of it. Um, it's a unique game, number one, but I just, it's one that I just never played. But like checkers, backgammon, battleship, connect four, another one, perfection being another one. I love those games. So uh, Chinese checkers are the ones I, the one I never really understood, but one of the most unique games for sure. Do you like flying? I don't mind it. It's cool, but I prefer looking at the countryside by train. What is your dream job? I don't know. Got to think about that one. Favorite type of hard candy? Jolly Ranchers. I love the watermelon and the cherry Jolly Ranchers. I will eat Jolly Ranchers until the bag is empty. I love them to death. Can you draw? Yeah, I can do stick figures, but I mean, I can draw like layout plans, um, you know, building plans, things like that. Um, if you owned multiple cars in your lifetime, which one so far has been your favorite? Well, I really don't know how to answer that one. But if it was like my dream car, I can give you a good answer. One of the cars I've really liked is the 1972 Chevelle with a 327 small block. I've always loved the Chevelle. It was um, one of Chevy's most popular cars besides the Corvette. Uh, I've always loved the sound of the Chevelles when they start up. I mean, it sounds like it's some muscle in that 327. You, you know when that thing's coming down the road. So, yeah, love that. That's one of, that's one of my dream cars. Um, what is the most fascinating thing in the world to you? I don't know. Let me think about that a second. Well, I think the most fascinating things in the world, I think, are just the wonderful country that we have as far as scenery goes and going around and looking at different different places in the world, you know, places in the country, excuse me, and even the world too. But um, one of the other most fascinating things, I think, is, you know, uh, different people, you know, different people, personalities, and also different backgrounds, which are some of the really awesome things about people in general. Least favorite actor? I really don't have a least favorite. Now, what about all-time favorite actors? John Wayne. And, of course, Andy Griffith, Don Knotts, um, Rock Hudson being another one. Um, John Travolta is another one that I've always liked. Uh, James Arnaz is Matt Dillon and Gunsmoke. Um, trying to think of one more that's pretty good. Um, Jim Neighbors, who played Gomer Pyle, and Andy Griffin, also Gomer Pyle, USMC. Uh, just to name a few. Um, how many CDs do you have? Oh, I skipped one. Uh, do you usually keep a wristwatch with you? Every once in a while, I'll wear one. Now, how many CDs do you have? Too many. <laughs> Favorite class in high school? This is a good one. Hmm. Gotta think. Well, all my classes were unique, but one of my favorites, U.S. government and U.S. history. Um, I was very fortunate to have the same teacher for both of those classes. My U.S. history was junior year, and my and government was U, was my senior year. So I was able to have the same teacher for both of those classes. So I was very blessed for that. Do you like web comics? Hmm. That's a new one on me. I'll have to look into this too. Uh, favorite sci-fi movie? Not really into sci-fi movies, but a lot of like comedy movies, you know, like Sandlot, Fat Albert. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, the Santa Claus with Tim Allen, Christmas Story. Love those movies. The Mac MD or the International MD? 
Got to go with the Mac. How messy is your desk? Well, I try to keep it as organized as I can. Most interesting cargo you have seen either on a train or a truck. Hmm. What are the most unique? Are sewer pipes on the train? Uh, steel beams on a center beam car? Even transporting cat equipment and also um, tractors. Uh, which I think are the most unique loads in my opinion. Do you like your job? Yes. Favorite type of shoes? Well, I like Vans and also Caterpillar boots, the same company as the equipment, they have their own line of boots. I wear a pair of steel toes every once in a while. And favorite heritage unit you've ever seen? Well, well, I gotta think. I ha I remember seeing a Santa Fe war bonnet as a kid before I really started taking videos. I do remember that. And I also have seen uh, Conrails and original paints and um, an Illinois Central SD70. So, uh, they're some of my favorite logos in, I call them true heritage units. I use that in quotation marks. So, really good questions. Thank you for asking these. And, um, Andrew Lib asked, do you think VMT will construct new parts for 1218? I do not have a good answer at this time. Um, and finally, Stephen Casey Railfin comes in. Thanks, Steve. Great to see you. Heard of the Grand Victoria Inn in Park City, Kentucky that has CSX going by there? No, but I will look into that. What made you get into N Scale? Well, it was a set that was given to given to me by one of my mom's friends. And that's what got me into it, and I've been able to really enjoy that scale. Thoughts on Scale Train's GP30 announcement? It's a good one, but there's just one problem. They have not done one in Southern Paint. Um, the RS3 or the 1500? RS3 because they, they're they not talked about much anymore. Pennsylvania or the Missouri Pacific, I do like both. Tater tots or onion rings, I have a taste for both, buddy. Thoughts on the CBQ Pioneer Zephyr, that's a cool train. Um, if I've ever seen a, da a Dash 8 on Amtrak, I have seen two of them. Favorite BN locomotive, mostly their EMDs especially the 70 Max later on before the merger. Um, GP15 or the G20, I like both of them because of their unique designs. Crab cakes or salmon, I love both, but if it's ca crab cakes, I love them fried. For salmon, I love it blackened. Conrail or chassis system, I love them both. Cookie dough or strawberry ice cream, gotta go with cookie dough, man. The EJ and E or the or the Katy Railroad, gotta go with the Katy because I'm more familiar with them. How would you feel if you relaxed in an Amtrak Superliner lounge car? They look to be very relaxing. M&Ms or Skittles, love them both. ATSF for the GTW, oh ATSF for the win. All time favorite BNSF paint, Heritage One for ATSF red and silver war bonnet. Favorite country music artist. Reva McIntyre, Dolly Parton, Randy Travis, Brooks and Dunn, Toby Keith, uh, Carrie Underwood, um, Jay Gowen is pretty good too, and so is Billy Currington, uh, just to name a few. Oreos or Cheez-Its? Oh, man. I love Cheez-Its with a Coca-Cola and Oreos with a cold glass of milk. So I love both of those. I have a taste for both. So, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this Q&A responses for February. Thank you to all who participated, and I look forward to looking at the ones that are coming out in March. That prompt is out, so definitely take a look at the March Q&A prompt as well, uh, where you can continue to ask more questions. So just remember, smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and please hit that subscribe button. Tap the notification bell where we get all the latest updates, and I will see you all soon. Take care, you all, and may God bless.